In this video, we're going to make a braided hose like this one. Once you open Blender, press A to select all, X and delete. Rotate, Shift A, Mesh, Plane, go to Modifier Properties, Add Modifier, Array, change X value to 0, Y to 1, and tick the Merge, apply the modifier, tab to go to edit mode select this vertex and that one g z1 enter tab to go to object mode add another modifier array modifier don't do anything with it keep it as as default and press apply tab to go to edit mode press on this vertex here and l to select that separate object we selected that one because they are not connected. If we merge them, they will be connected. So you see, as you see, we can move them around separately. So go to transform pivot point and select bounding box center. S Z minus one. Select this vertex and press L. Shift S cursor to select it. Tab to go to object mode. Right click set origin to 3d cursor r z type in 45 go to add modifier add another array modifier the count is 100 the factor of x is 0 y is 1 and tick the merge collapse add another modifier array modifier the count is 6 and keep everything as default add modifier curve and keep it add another curve modifier and lastly we'll add a subdivision modifier and increase the viewport level to 2 and collapse shift d to duplicate escape to keep it in place r z minus 90 tab to go to edit mode a to select all s z minus 1 enter Tab to go to object mode. Shift A, curve, circle. Type in in the radius 5.40525 and press enter. R, X, type in 90 and press enter. Select the first object. Go to the first curve modifier. Take this icon and click on this curve. Go to the other object and do the same thing. Or click here and select the curve from the list now go back to the first object go to go back to the second array modifier and from factor X 1 will put minus 1 and press enter collapse now control a empty sphere and drag the radius till we see it through okay and select Bezier circle and both planes and finally the empty and then control P set parent to object keep transform now if we select the empty and scale it down all of them will scale down with it shift a mesh plane and select the empty scale it down I think that's enough shift a curve path zoom out tab to go to edit mode G to move it away select the first vertex shift s cursor or selection to cursor move the other vertices the way you want them select the first object we created go to the second curve select the NURBS path deform axis to Y select the other object go and do the same thing and from X to Y zoom out now we want them to fit the curve so 
go to the first object or the second one doesn't matter to go to array and increase the count from 100 to what fits the curve and select the other one and do the same thing okay now we're done with creating the curve shade smooth if you want select the other one shade smooth now we'll start with the shading so drag this window up go to viewport make sure that we are in cycles instead of EV go to render properties render engine cycles and if you have the option to select the GPU do that now go to world properties color click on this icon instead of the color itself and select environment texture open and select PBR HDRI now make sure no triangular add-on is enabled so go to edit preferences add-on and look for node triangular so no triangular should be ticked go to this icon and select shader editor as one object is selected press on material and select the material the default one you don't need to create another one click anywhere here and press shift a texture wave texture while the, uh, it is selected press ctrl t zoom in if you want to remove this node and put the uv to vector on the way uh, click on the wave texture ctrl shift left mouse click scale it down I think to 1.5 select the other object and add the same material to it so we see them both at once select all these move them away control a color mix rgb and put it here take the vector of the wave to the vector of mix and remove the other node put the color in the principal shader on base color Control shift press on mix click on the first color and make it darker and keep the other one Control a converter add uh, color ram put it here wave texture factor to the factor of color ram and color of color ram to zoom in let's zoom in to see it color to roughness add another node bump node shift a vector bump put it here i press control space for full screen and zoom in to see it better factor to height normal to normal and i would like the strength of the bumps to be 0.2 and press enter and now control space again press on the principal shader control shift and press left, left mouse click metallic 0 0.8 we can flip the colors yeah this is better so the first color is the brighter and the other one is the second color is darker and play with the color ram to get the de desired results for me this is good enough and thanks for watching